you're kind of feeling stuck when it comes to your thoughts or having your ideas flow naturally and easily. You feel like you don't know what else to do in your business or perhaps you're just kind of in this place where your mind just feels like it's very fogged up. What is up Define Squad? Welcome, welcome, welcome and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Alex at Defined by Alex where we are defining our lives and building our dreams in that order. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how how to get out of a creative rut and the things that you can do when it comes to getting your mind unfogged okay unclogged and back on track to fulfill your goal so before I get started I just wanted to share that how I know what it's like firsthand feel in a creative rut in fact I've been in this space more times to count and I'm at a point to where every time I implement these steps I'm going to share with you I feel myself getting back on track and getting back into the space that I need to be to grow my channel and my business and my impact. So when it comes to getting out of this rut, a lot of things may be trial and error. You may have to figure out what works for you the best and you know what doesn't work for you. Ultimately, I want you to feel that it is temporary when it comes to being in a creative rut and it will, it will pass, okay? So let me go ahead and dive into these tips so I can show you guys how to get out of a creative rut and just keep the ball rolling. Tip number one, I want you guys to practice meditating. Now, this might not be for everyone, which I understand. In fact, I was a little hesitant to start meditating myself. But what meditating does, it helps the alignment of your body just get back in position. It also helps clear your mind when it comes to feeling overwhelmed, when it comes to feeling anxious, okay, y'all? So, like, I know all about that, like I said. And when I start meditating, when I started to be still, when I learned that I cannot always be on go mode, it really helped my physicality. It really helped shape like how I go about being in my business, how I go about working on my YouTube channel, all the things that you guys see me show up for. I meditate because there has been time where I was doing too much. I did not stop. I did not pause. And my life was just not in a good spot. I was just always moving. I didn't stop and smell the roses. And that affected me the way that I did not want it to. I wanted to just reiterate that meditating will help you if you're feeling like again your thoughts are kind of just stuck a little bit let's move on to tip number two so tip number two is going to be watching relative content now when it comes to watching things that are in alignment with what you're doing it actually does help you because it kind of helps you with your wheels to get back started up again when you see someone in your niche naturally you're going to gravitate towards them because you know what they're doing right so that's that relation that you have with them watching it now I will also also say that when you watch relative content it helps you come up with more refined ideas now it's totally okay to watch someone in your niche I'm you know suggesting that you do so but just don't copy them when it comes to watching relative content see what they're doing and then make your own original refined version because a lot of times you just may have to sharpen the iron that's already there watch relative content if you feel like you're stuck in your ideas on what you're about to do next. Tip number three is never stop learning. I think this is such a great opportunity and time if you are currently in a creative rut to learn as much as you can. What that also does is stimulate your mind because you're taking in new information. Your outcome is going to be new ideas and results. Okay. So when it comes to never stop learning, that saying will never get old because you really have to. And if you are growing a business, you literally need to be learning every single day. There's never going to be a time that you are not going to learn. It's a part of the job and it's a part of running a business. Look up what books people are reading to help them learn something in that business that you're running. Look up what type of strategies you can start implementing on how to really grow your sales. I mean, you have to want this and if you don't, then hey, I don't know what to say. But I just want to share that when you embrace, never stop learning, then your chances of getting out of the creative rut are going to be very fast because your mind is going to be on fire with all these thoughts that you have. Let's move on to tip number four and that's to take necessary breaks. You cannot live in this world and always be on go mode. As I shared before you guys I tried that and it was a no for me. You have to take the necessary breaks. Your body needs it. Your mind needs it. You need it. Okay listen. Like I said we got to always be defining our 
lives and defining our lives sometimes means taking necessary breaks okay so take the breaks that you need and i also want to segue this to tip number five is to keeping your goals first yes it is important to take necessary breaks but don't don't take too long of a break because what that's going to do is create distractions that you do not need so always keep your goals first make sure that when you take those breaks you're thinking about where you are three months from now six months from now 12 months from now whatever but when you keep your goals first while you're taking your break put yourself on this timer of like okay i do want to take my break but let me go ahead and get back to work because i feel good i feel refreshed so that time varies depending on how long of a break you take but the reason why i wanted to segue tip number four to five is because when you keep your goals first you kind of are in this space of i can't take too long of a break or i might get distracted and let's just be real our minds are thinking of so many things at once and we get distracted easily this is the easily distracted culture so when it comes to taking your necessary breaks just be sure that you're staying mindful of how long your breaks are going to be so that way you won't open up the door for the distractions that you don't need all right define squad so that wraps up this video on the five tips i share 